This is Twit. Canonical, the parent company behind Ubuntu, is looking to put performance tools into Ubuntu 24.04 by default. So at this point, it's simply a proposal and not a sure thing. Canonical engineers are wanting to put various tools into the long-term support release to try to help people who want to take the time and tune and make sure their system will run at its peak performance. Uh, why just a proposal at this point? Well, it's because it would increase the size by a not insignificant amount. So Canonical has recently been pushing for performance on the Linux desktop. So this isn't an unexpected proposal. Late last year, they turned on frame pointers, which helps monitoring performance and debugging. They also built a version of Ubuntu with the level three microarchitecture features in it to just see how enabling modern CPU full instruction set would help the release. So even, you know, Can Canonical's even officially stated they're pushing for more Linux performance. So, you know, th this falls in line with that. So this, this isn't like it's totally out of the blue. Of officially, the proposal is, and this is a quote from, from them, you know, and, or a snippet, include performance and profiling tools by default on Ubuntu 24.04, classic, not core, in talking about what we could do in Ubuntu 24. 404 to make Ubuntu absolutely great for performance engineers, a key suggestion was to include this tool by default. Now, some of the packages to be installed are Sysstat, Num, Numa, AC, Control, CTL, uh, BPFCC tools, BPF trace, e trace command, IP route to e ETH tool, and that's just a few of them. They're basically going to be the most common debugging and performance tracing tools. The downside is the overall ISO image would go up about 120 megabytes, while the install size would grow over 500 megabytes. Uh, the biggest question on this is, while seemingly like a good idea, is why installed by default? The issue has been raised that while 100% of the people downloading the ISO will never, you know, will, sorry. The issue has been raised that while 100% of the people downloading the ISO will have increased bandwidth usage, only a small amount of these people actually use these tools, as some of them are rather advanced. You know, the, the BPFCC tools and BPF trace, which depend on each, are, on each other, are actually the majority of the size increase. Now, it's been brought up to leave those out and include the rest, as the rest only give a four megabyte increase in the ISO, so it's not too bad. Also brought up is if you're working to get the most out of your Ubuntu install, you probably already know what tool you need to, you know, what tools to install. And, you know, to do that could just, you can just install them yourself since they're in the repository. So it's, it's not like anybody's got to really go searching and uh, try hard to get these into their distribution. Uh, there's even talk about performance tools, meta package to install all the programs and their dependencies if you want them. or Individual installs are always an option as well, if so desired. Uh, for people that don't know, meta packages are kind of like a wrapper around packages. So when you install a program and maybe it, it depends on many other things, other actual packages, not just dependencies, that, that's a good way to kind of wrap everything up into a neat, neat little package. So you just install the one package and it installs everything you need. But, you know, in my opinion, I don't think they should be included by default. The only things that should be default are the dependencies that have to be compiled into the kernel and, you know, things like that where it, it has to be kind of built into the system. Uh, you know, it's trivial, to, and I think our audience will know it's trivial to install packages in Linux. So I think leaving, in them, leaving them out but having a wrapper package to install them would be the best thing. Uh, just any, any thoughts from my wonderful co-hosts? Yeah, it's fascinating. The only thing that comes to mind is, are there people that need these tools that aren't going to be connected to the internet? And I have trouble imagining that, particularly since a lot of those tools are network connectivity tools. Um, it's It does. It seems odd to put them in by default. And if you're it in that level of performance and tuning and you're not connected to the internet, you know how to take those, download those packages and put them on your system and then run it through the installer locally. Right, right, for sure. 
Yeah, and I, I agree. That makes sense that it's probably not from the majority of people. But, you know, all they have to do is put a check marks on the in, check check box, I guess, on the installer and say install performance stuff too. But yep, that's they, another they good way. They want to seem to just completely minimize that you have your minimal and you have your full, and that's all you get. Yeah. <laughs> There's yep. no custom. What's that? There's no very custom, custom option. There's very yeah. little. There's some you can select like non-free repositories and you know non-open source uh, programs that you can install. But there's not a ton when you're installing like an Ubuntu. There's not a ton of uh, package uh, customizations. Yeah, not like it used to be. Yeah.